Today we're going to be working on Read Code Question number 368, Largest Divisible Subset. Okay, given a set of distinct positive integers, nums, I return the largest an uh, subset answer such that every pair answer of i and answer of j of elements in this subset satisfies this condition where one module modulus of another is going to be equal to zero. So there are multiple solutions return any one uh, any of them. So in one two three we're going to be returning one and two because one divisible by two is equal to sorry two divisible by one is going to be uh, modulus one is going to be equal to zero. One and three also satisfies. In this one everything is going to be in because two modulus one, uh, four modulus two, uh, eight modulus four, uh, they all are like. Uh, like potential solutions. So in this case what we're going to be doing is basically we're going to be using the, the def first search uh, uh, and the def first search so in other words we're going to be doing the recurrent and also the memoization so that we have and the kind of memoization is going to be like the uh, for every index we're going to have some some set of values and those values are going to be basically that if we were at that index these are going to be the solutions so we're going to have a map for that so for every um, for every integer we're going to have a list of integers Let's call it mem for memoization and we're gonna have it as a new hash map. Okay, then we're gonna have a helper function too, which is gonna basically, uh, we're gonna be using that. And in, in this one, we're gonna be sorting the array because we wanna see them see, uh, in, a, in, a, in a sequence. So, it is dot sort nums and then we're gonna be calling our return function with uh, we're gonna initialize it with a zeroth index so our helper function is basically gonna be returning the list of integer and it takes an int and it returns uh, and like what it takes is the nums uh, let's just call it nums and then int i is gonna be the index so we know if we already have processed it, we're gonna be returning the result. So if the mem dot contains key contains key i, we're gonna be returning the value. Uh, return mem dot get i. Okay. Otherwise, if we haven't processed it before, now we're gonna be creating a new list. Uh, integer uh, max uh, length uh, list so it's a maximum uh, length list like what can be the multiples of that particular number uh, which are already in in the in the array so that is basically the the gist of the logic here that we are actually checking the multiples of everything so if we have two we're going to be checking four eight uh, 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 ten all of them um, because uh, basically uh, inside the array and if we have already processed our duplication we're gonna be actually uh, using the memoization in order to uh, get the pre-processed uh, pre results okay and the first time we're gonna be 
uh, we're gonna be seeing is like the first time when the i is basically this index is equal to zero uh, but we're gonna be seeing the thing the multiples we're gonna be looking for is one so that every number can actually have at least like looking for itself to at the beginning so the div is gonna be equal to one otherwise it's gonna be equal to that nums of i minus one okay now our loop is gonna go through and uh, k is gonna start from i right and then it's gonna go k is less than uh, nums dot length and then k plus plus okay so if we're gonna check our condition if that nums of k uh, modulus uh, of that div is equal to zero we're gonna process it and in processing oh well, first of all we wanna we wanna see if we already have the uh, first of all we don't wanna take the, the same uh, same uh, list we wanna we wanna make a copy of it right so for that we'll say list of integer uh, list yeah and that is gonna be equal to a new array list and we're gonna make sure that if we have nums and the k plus one so we want to make use of memoization and we want to make a copy of it so that we can actually process uh, on the new one and then we're gonna add this current number list dot and uh, nums of k and then uh, the last thing is that we have this max then we want to update it only if the size of that list uh, we just created or got it from the helper function uh, if that size has, has been uh, greater than the this size then we're gonna uh, do we're gonna update it list dot size is greater than max length list dot size in that case we're gonna say that the max length list is just equal to this list okay okay once we come out of this for loop we're gonna update our uh, uh, memoization array uh, memoization map and then we're gonna uh, return the uh, the result so mem dot put uh, for this particular index i uh, we're gonna say that this is gonna be the max length list and then we're gonna be returning max length list looking good yep and it works